Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how you built object repository in your project framework. When you get this question in the interview, you need to answer it by saying, I have used page object model and page factory design patterns to build the object repository in my project framework. This should be your answer, guys. Now, let me practically show you a sample framework which uses this page object model and page factory design patterns for building the object repository. Here is the sample framework, guys. So according to the page object model, okay, according to the page object model, all the pages in the application should have a separate Java file created in the framework. So let's say, let's say this application, guys, okay? There is a tutorialsninja.com slash demo application. So this is the landing page of the application. For this landing page, there should be a separate Java file. Now, if you go to the login page, okay, this is the login page. Guys. For this login page, there should be a separate Java file. Now, if you go to the register page, for this register page, there should be a separate Java file. Similarly, after you log into the application, there is a my account page, guys, okay, my account page. For that separate page, there should be a separate Java file. So here, using the page object model, you are categorizing the pages by creating a separate Java file for each and every page of the application. Now, why you are creating the separate pages so that you can divide the objects. Objects related to the login page will be there in the login page.java file. Let's say here, if you go to the login page, there are three objects, guys, okay? So the locator for the email address field, the locator for the password field, the locator for the login button. So these three are the objects, guys, okay? This locators for these three fields are the nothing but objects. So objects related to this login page will be there in which page? login page.java if you open this login page.java you see the locator okay this id locator for email address field for this email address field is in the login page only okay this is the first object okay this is the first object second object is related to password field so for password also the locator is there so this is the second object now login button that is the third object the locator for this login button is there this is the third object so objects related to the login page are in the login page and if you go to the, uh, what you call the landing page, okay, landing page. So object related to the landing page are on the landing page, guys, okay. Here you see my account option is there, right? This, this option is in the landing page. So object for that my account, that is locator for that my account is in the which page? Landing page. So according to the page object model, we are dividing the objects according to the pages, guys. Fine, that's one thing. Now, what about page factory, guys? Another pattern, we are using two patterns, right? For building this object repository in our uh, project framework, we are using two design patterns. One design pattern you just now understood, page object model. Second then, second one is page factory, guys, page factory. Page factory purpose is to support the page object model only. Page factory design pattern purpose is to support the page object model design pattern. So what's the purpose of the page factory then? So in the, when you are writing the Selenium automation code, let's say, let me go to the register uh, test.java. Here is a place where we are writing the actual Selenium automation code. So when you want to, okay, when you want to use the objects of the landing page, then you create an object for the landing page, guys, okay? This is how you create an object for the landing page. Landing page, landing page is equal to new landing page. And you are passing the driver, okay, in the constructor. So what happens, this constructor will be called. Let's say this constructor, this constructor in the landing page will be called. So when the constructor is called, this init elements, okay? This init elements also belong to the page factory, guys, okay? This init elements belong to the page factory. This init elements will be initiated where it will initialize all the objects. Without initializing the objects, we cannot work, right? Even though you put the objects into the different pages according to the page object model design pattern, you have to initialize the object, guys. When you want to use this particular objects, you have to initialize them. So that is possible with the help of page factory. So init elements and at the rate find by, okay? At the rate find by and init elements will make it possible, guys. They will initialize the objects. The moment when you want to use objects, you just need to create the object for that particular class, okay? Object for that particular page in this uh, real test and automatically these objects will get initialized with the help of page factory, guys. These objects are getting initialized with the help of page factory, which uses this init elements, page factory dot init elements uh, method and at the rate find by annotations. So hope guys, you understood how to answer this question, right? So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.